Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use um, your Telos account, how to manage it uh, with SQRL Wallet. So sqrlwallet.io, that's the place where you can download uh, the wallet on the version Mac, Windows or Linux. I'm using Mac in this example. And um, in one of the previous videos uh, we created a Telos training account. So this is your account name. It can be also shown as QR code. Uh, and I already have uh, the private key. Uh, this information is very sensible, so uh, don't share it with uh, anyone, because uh, uh, this is basically the access to your account. I'm sharing it because it's uh, the um, training video, and this account is uh, kind of empty. So we are taking it, I'm copying this data. You can create a Telos account for free on the telos.net. So uh, I'm using a SQRL, I'm already started the wallet, that's my main wallet, uh, but how to add a new wallet? You go to this squirrel on the right, click it, uh, you go to, actually you need to unlock your wallet. And then yeah, you go to the tools, to the tools section. And then there is a um, section manage wallets. Here you can add, uh, there are possibilities to add also EOS wallet and Telos testnet. We are going to use uh, Telos mainnet. And uh, you need to click import accounts. Basically this private key which I showed to you, I'm showing it here found this and I'm using it to import. This uh, password is uh, for the wallet, it's like a secondary protection, so also be sure to remember it. So now um, I will have this new wallet added. Uh, you can see in this field I can switch uh, between the wallets. Uh, and let's do what we can do. Let me send uh, um, some, yeah, you see, this is, that's your account. In the wallet section you can see um, all the data current price and you can see how much clause do you have. Uh, this is your account name. In this case it's Telos Training. Telos Training. And let's uh, send some Telos there. So I'm switching to my uh, other account where I have some Telos, some liquid Telos, and I will be sending it right now. No typo. Yeah, in order to send Telos, it's I unlocked uh, the wallet. It's uh, very easy. You basically you can copy to the clipboard because this is the name. Or you can even uh, memorize it, but better to double check. And then there is a section send tokens. I can use you can use like some some other tokens. Let's send uh, acre, but let's send copying account name. Memo is uh, not necessary. It's needed when you need to send to exchanges because usually the exchanges they use uh, memos. And I will send uh, one telos. One Telos and um, it's sending. So I can check it uh, on the Block Explorer, just re refreshing the, uh, the page because that's a Telos training, that's uh, the account. And I can also switch to it. Ok, 
Okay, you can see that liquid loss. I have one liquid loss because transactions on the Telus network are very fast. So basically, what I can do with it, I want to show you also how to stake it uh, on the Rex and receive um, additional rewards. Right now they are around this the data around what eleven percent APR. You need to click deposit loss for lending and uh, select the amount deposit confirm. But then also you need to lend deposited because you have one available. So like both steps should be done. Yeah, then later when you will need it, you can unlend it. And also, um, I want to show you how to vote uh, for block producers, validators. This is a list of validators. You can use proxies and uh, there is a section also on Telos Works, where you can vote for community proposals, for the proposals which seek funding but in this video, in order to keep it, uh, not to keep it long, I will just select block producers. Uh, so basically you can uh, select the ones whom you want to support. Here you can see you can vote for 30 maximum and uh, there is no minimum. Uh, then you can scroll down. Let's uh, select some more. Let's select. Yeah, but that's just for example. You can uh, read more about block producers in the community. And then when you select it, you select the producers. You need to click this submit votes for selected block producers. Here you can double check those whom you chose and click submit votes. Transaction done, submit. And all this information you can also check on the block explorer. You see, you, we had like one loss here. That's total amount, the dollar equivalent. And we can see our uh, transactions that you went to Rex, that you voted, you received one loss. Um, yeah, and now it's in Rex. So basically, uh, that's it. Uh, the SQL wallet is very user friendly, and there are some also additional, more uh, complex things which you can do. But uh, that's another story. I think this. Um, Information is enough for the beginning, so thanks, have a nice day.